Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I will talk about the, how you can connect the Lenovo Chromebook Duet to the monitor and how you can increase your productivity. Most of you guys may be thinking about to buy this Lenovo Chromebook Duet also as your only device. So this is important to connect it to the monitor. And now I will show you guys what kind of settings you will get it. Now you guys can see it. Now I am connected to USB-C port here. This also gives the power. Also data can be transported and also the display port is also supported here. That means that if your monitor has a, for example, like mine, like a USB-C or USB-A connector, you can also connect your hard drives or like game pads and it will work automatically. I will showcase that also later in one example. So, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hope you will enjoy this video. First, I will go to the settings here. I will show you guys how it looks like here. So if you go to the settings, device displays, now I should see both displays here. Exactly, I have the built-in display and I have the Dell U2520D. It is a 25-inch uh, Quad HD monitor that is connected here. You can, now I can scroll down. Now you guys can see that it's connected with 1080p in 24 Hertz. Unfortunately, that's the only supports here. I remember when I connected this Lenovo Chromebook Duet to the TV that I have, the Samsung TV, I could get 30 Hertz. So most probably if you connect to your monitor, you might get also 30 Hertz. But I think that's the maximum that you can get here in 1080p. But the text looks uh, kind of sharp. I have to go to the monitor. First, I will try to open a website. Yeah. I go to the virtual gun. Now I will zoom in to one of the texts. Now I can zoom into this text here. Now you can see how the text is shown here. It's a really important part is the text because the videos you can clearly, uh, they have good quality even in 72p. So now I will try to change the resolution here from 1080p to 7020p. This is a HD resolution now. It will take a few seconds. This changing the resolution. I have to also confirm that. The confirmation comes in the other window. Confirm. Now I can go back. Now you can guys see that I have a refresh rate of 60 Hertz in the HD resolution. I also like to make it smaller here. Now you guys can see it also. Now this looks good, but the text now is not that sharp. You guys can clearly see that the text is not sharp. The monitor has also some sharpness, but it doesn't have that much. So if you want to read a lot of text using the 72p, maybe if you have a smaller monitor, maybe you can hope that the resolution will be better in HD resolution and the pixel density. But here, in a larger screen, 25 inch, it doesn't work properly. And you can clearly see how bad the text looks like here. You guys can get 72p running in the 60 Hertz and uh, full HD, like the 1080p in the 24 Hertz in this monitor that I have here. Hopefully you can guys get 30 Hertz, but this is also connected to the USB-C port here. Now I want to show you what I meant with the data transport using the USB-C port. Now I have the monitor. I connected the hard drive that I have here next to me. So now we will see here that there's a pop-up here. And I can go to the file manager. It's on the biggest screen here. I can go, as you guys clearly see, that's the hard drive that I am attached right now and you can see all the data inside of it. So as you said, this cable, USB-C, it works for the display, it works for the power, it also works for the... Now let's continue with the next setup, which is using the HDMI port. 
you can buy these USB-C hubs around maybe 20 euro or 20 dollars and it's connected with the USB-C here and you will have different ports. You can also get VGA, you can get DPI port. Now I have this with the HDMI port here and it's now connected to my computer, my monitor here. Now we should be able to see the settings also here. As you guys see also here, we have the same resolution, nothing changed here. I have exact same setup connected to my TV and I could get 20, I could get 30 Hertz, but here in 1080p, I'm restricted to 24 Hertz, but I'm sure it will not get more than 30 Hertz in all, any monitor or any TV. Now I will try to work in this setup. As you can see, you can have the extended one. You can have both monitors next to each other, but also you can also just close this. And now you will have this full screen setup here and that's only your screen. There is one problem in this setup. Everything works perfectly, but there is, if you want to open a new desktop, now it is still recognized that this Lenovo Chromebook Duet is connected the trackpad is connected, so this three finger swipe will go to the desktop mode and it's not shown here. But there's a solution for that. If you remove the uh, trackpad and the keyboard here, then you will see the button down there that you can go to the, uh, you can open the new desktop. I will show so you. now I remove the trackpad. You guys can clearly see the icon here. This is opens, that opens the, that like a, a multi, screen like that to open a new desktop. I will now click on that. And you guys can see that now you have more other screens here. And now you can open a new desktop here. And now you're more flexible. You can move between the desktop. But the problem is like this screen is now also turned on. And when I try to turn it off, I go to the standby mode, I have to find the power button for that, and it's up there. The whole screen also turns off. So it's a bit weird here that the solution here doesn't work when the trackpad is connected. Because when the trackpad is connected, it's automatically detected, it goes to standby, and it keeps the monitor here, the connected monitor as a full screen, but it doesn't show this icon here, which is important to open a new uh, desktop. As you guys clearly saw, you can get like uh, 1080p and 24 Hertz in this setup that I have here. And you can get uh, like HD resolution 720p and uh, like 60 Hertz. And the, but the problem is when you go to 60 Hertz with 72p, then the pixel quality, like the if you want to read a lot of te text, it's not clear anymore. It's not sharp anymore, the text. And if you keep the 1080p, then it drops to 24 hertz, and then you cannot game, and the whole sync, whole setup gets a little bit laggy. I also tried to game with it. In the 72p, it works perfectly, but if you go to 1080p, if it's a little bit more like graphical intensive games, you will have problem. So uh, that will not be the best solution for you guys. So please write in the comments if you have any questions about this setups here. I already ordered also the display link port. I read also in the Chrome Unbox that if you connect this uh, display link ports, uh, you can get a, like a full HD resolution with 60 Hertz. I will try that out and I will show that in the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in the next one.